Hey everyone, it's Wingspan TT, and if you're watching, you know what time it is. It's time for ACR, the Alabama College of Rhinoplasty. And um, we're jumping right into rhinoplasty here. I hope to rearrange the noses of my opponent's faces, um, maybe other parts of their body, whatever is necessary really to jump to the top of the scoreboard here and assassinate. Now, I don't know if you got a chance to look at the scoreboard before this all started, but we're against some pretty good players here, three prestige players. Um, this one, she's eating some buckshot. Oh look, a convenient stun just for me. Why thank you for this noble service. Um, people ask me why do I run the hidden gun in Assassin? Oh, the gun is so cheap. You know what's cheap? The whole way that people play Assassin. Like, oh, I'm just gonna run around in high profile with mutant smoke bomb try to lure you um, in stunning me. It doesn't matter how corny it makes the gameplay. It doesn't matter how stale it gets or how the fact that everyone uses the same strategy. The only thing that matters is that everyone goes for a lure. Now look, she thinks she's gonna lure me with a smoke bomb. Well, okay, she's just gonna run away. Well, I guess there's not much I can do about that, so we're just going to let her go. Um, one thing you want to keep in mind in Assassinate is, unlike other game modes, you don't really want to just keep stalking the same person because there's no point to it. You can get a new target at any time, so I'm going to go for this person in the corner of the map. Hopefully, um, it's not that guy with 11 prestige. What was the fa the, fa the fuzz? The faz? It was a cop. Now I'm just going to target her right off the bat to kind of dissuade her from chasing me. Um, I know that there's someone else coming after me. Um, ooh, okay, it looks like someone else died. And what you want to do is, okay, this player clearly knows what he or she is doing. Um, going over there. Okay, fine. Just going to get the lock again. And again, now you want to watch out here. Someone's got the lock on me. Going to run over here. And uh, she's going to be coming around the corner when she comes. Now she's running on the roofs and I'm going to expose her. Oh, shit. All right. This guy's exp So here's what we're just going to do. We're just going to knock this guy off. Let him kill that guy. And, and, and you know what? Assassinate's not about patience, but it's about being an opportunist. Now, what the hell? Really? Okay, fine. Now, she's probably waiting to run through the chase breaker as soon as I get close. What she's not expecting is for me to come in here with a smoke bomb thrown. Mushi Master 517, it's been a pleasure. See you in the next life. Now, someone here is trying to cut me off around the edge, so I'm going to be really careful. And climbing and assassinating does one particular thing very well. It prevents people from surprise corner stunning you. So I'm just looking for the edge. Where are they on the edge? Are they going to climb up the building any second? Oh, it's probably that guy down there. Oh, shit. All right, all right. So once someone has picked you and assassinated, you got to do the lamest thing. This is what makes assassinate so lame. It's just run for your life. Um, if they chase you, that's great. You can start a chase. You can win the chase. But what is he going to do? Is he really going to chase me? So he's going, what is he doing? All right, I'm going to stay blended this group. Get a blended um, chase win. All right, was it, is he really going to get me? I'm already locked onto him. He wasn't sure exactly who it was, but um, I just introduced his liver to my sword. Um, I hope they become really good friends. Maybe they can hang out again next time uh, when he respawns. Now coming over here, now this is what I'm talking about assassinating. Like, I could just jump down and get this guy, but I just want to see what's going on here first. So I'm going to lock onto him. I kind of dropped the lock there. Lock onto him. Um, now I see who's coming after me here. He's going to eat the smoke. And see, unfortunately, most of Assassinate really comes down to this. Now, I just want to kill him right away, get the chain, get the greater variety. I saw that someone locked onto me from behind, so I want to run away in this direction, all right? And I want to kind of force them to chase me, because if they chase me, they're going to go to high profile, and this other person down here where the radar is big to my left is going to kill them. So see, someone... Look, he, that just, that's exactly what just happened. I'm just going to get the gun lock. Oh, good night. There we go. People don't like the gun, whatever. It's free points, but more importantly, it's an activator for the streak. You know, I don't really, as, as, as offensive it looks like the gun is as a skill, it's really a defensive ability. And the whole point of the gun, oh shit, don't fall off the roof, don't fall off the roof. Why'd I fall off the roof? Okay, oh, that worked out for me somehow. With the late mute, um, this guy's gonna get me, but whatever. Um, what I was saying with the gun is I got kill buffer, I got kill streak seven. The problem with getting seven kills is a lot of people, as soon as you lock onto them, run away because they're trying to lure you in a chase. They're trying to lure you into a stun. And um, as long as you don't, you, you know, they're playing their cheap little game, okay, where they just want to expose the way the whole chase system works. I could play that game too. That game is called You Can't Outsmart a Bullet. Now, I'm pretty sure this is a human player. Um, he believes that he's going to get away. Um, he's going to get outside of the range of the ledge, but he's not going to get outside of this range, and I do use the improved range on the smoke bomb. There you go. Just going to put the sword in him and just run the hell out of here. I'm pretty sure that my killer is somewhere behind me. And once again, when you know where your killer is, you want to run the opposite direction. Force them to chase you. They don't want to chase you. Because if you if they lose the chase, they're going to get stunned. They're going to get killed. Now I'm sandwiched here. This is a real bad position to be in. One in front, one in back. 
nothing but net. Um, I have no clue who they are, but hopefully now I'm next to this guy. They don't know who I am. So I'm just going to move in this group and see what happens. Oh my god, it was her. Good night. Oh, say hello to your maker, Mushi Master. All right, my pursuer somewhere that way. Oh shit, I got the gun on me. And I'm just gun. So this is why I really encourage everyone needs to bring the hidden gun into Assassinate. If you want to see an end to the kind of gameplay where the entire round is everyone just running at corners hoping to track someone else in a smoke bomb, all right, you need to bring the hidden gun. It's the, the great equalizer, the great deterrent, all right, and it's a great way to get bonuses too. People forget that the hidden gun is not, you know, the least, sell, you know, it's not like, oh, you get 100 points. Well, A, you get easy kill streaks. Now, you know what? I'm going to take out people who uh, are just more likely to run. All right, did she run? I don't know. This guy's good. There, she's going to try to climb up here. Goodbye. Just going to run away. Force her and chase. Get away from the edge. Get away from the edge. Oh, God. Didn't get far enough away from the edge. All right, the Faz 4200, 4350 for me. Mushi Master, 517. Very good player so far. You see the spread on the point is pretty close. Um, if I were a betting man, I would bet on myself, of course. If you're a betting man, um, you should probably speak to your family about an intervention. Try to get that handled. Um, wow, that guy's really loud. Um, I was considering turning down the voice from 4 to 0 or lower than that, but then you can't hear things like hidden escape and first blood and that kind of stuff. I'm just going to get over here. You want to watch out because very possible this guy's got smoke bomb. Alright, he does have the smoke bomb. Oh god. Oh shit, he poisoned me. Oh shit, now when someone poisons you, you can't kill him back, but you can kill someone else. So I'm gonna get the poison right before it's too late. Oh! Oh, look at that, we're just gonna make out in death. I don't... This, are you technically like a necrophiliac or whatever? What, what is that word? I mean, does that really apply if you're both dead or are you just kind of getting that like last loving embrace? This guy's on the roof. Hopefully I can trick him to chase and give him smoke inhalation. All right, we're going for the stun. Of course, you want to watch out for this. If this guy were smart, I'm just going to climb up here to get a variety bonus. And there we go. So you might think, why did I do that for the extra 200 points for the acrobatics? So if you did a focus on the ground, right, I would have get 150 extra points. For acrobatic, I get 200. So just, if you can set up an acrobatic kill, great. If you can set up an acrobatic focus grounded chain, you know, chain smoking, whatever kill, that's even better. Now look what she's going to try to do. She's going to try to lure me into a chase. Nope. Now, see the Faz, I gotta give him a little credit there. He stopped running. And if someone gets the gun the gun lock on you, and you'll hear that little beep beep sound, it sounds like your microwave going off. Um, let me just get the corner here, okay. Get the lock first. Now, I didn't know for a fact I got the lock first. I just hoped I would. Someone's getting up for a lock for me. I'm just gonna move the opposite direction. Hope they don't get me. Where are they? Oh shit, she's on the roof. Now once again, try to lure her into a thing. She's going to try to get down here. Now, this is what the lame strategy is. She's going to try to get down here, get a smoke bomb off on me. She's going to get a mute, but I'm going to climb so the mute doesn't work. She dropped a smoke bomb. She's looking for me. Oh, there I am. There I am. Faz, you were looking for me. You should have looked up because I'm your fucking god now. Now, I didn't want to lock on too early with this so you wouldn't know it's me. Okay, go for the evil wolf, get the kill streak plus 550, kill plus 100, reckless plus 50, streak bonus plus 550, ladies and gentlemen, that's 700 points. I don't know who it is, but I think it's that guy. But you know what, I'm not going to risk it. Oh, it is that guy. Nope, it's that guy, shit. Oh my god, is it any of these guys? Oh, it was him. I see, just the lock got messed up. Alright, fine. Um, hidden, hidden gun's about to, now see that, you see the radar, two people met here. This guy knows what he's doing, so I'm just going to use the smoke. Get up here. Oh, what the hell's wrong with the meter? All right, I'm leading by, what, 2,000 points? Someone's coming up behind me. Great. Now, look. What does the Faz want to do? He wants to start a chase. I'm going to start a fight with my gun. Goodbye. And this is this is essentially how you get out of the circle of assassinate, where players just spend the entire match trying to trick each other into, like, stunning the other person. I'm just going to sit down here and hope that he can't get around the corner by the time it goes off. And I see someone else is coming up on me. Now, here... Okay, well, I get a hidden kill, close call, plus 50 escape. Someone has smoke bombed me. It's her? Who is it? Oh, god damn it. 500 point kill. The fast for 2,200 points? Are you kidding me? Does he have the, the skill doubler? He's got to have the skill doubler, the score doubler. That's the only way. 2,200 points. Holy shit, that's 30 seconds on the clock. I still have the lead. Um, first place, I got to set up some kind of stun to assure that I'm going to get first. I'm going to get up here, look for my opponent. Oh shit, he's up here. Oh god. Oh, I hit the stun. It didn't happen. Oh, why couldn't the stun happen? No, second place. Oh my god, there's 15 seconds. The Faz. Oh my god, the Faz. I'm so mad. <sighs> And that's it.
10 seconds left. Unless I'm spawned right on top of something, there's no way I'm going to get this. Five seconds. Pretty much just got to drop the smoke bomb on the ground. And uh, that's it. I'm not going to get this. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that despite that last second, score doubling 2200 point, you know, kill. Look at this. 21 kills, 6 deaths. Um, look at the rest of the scoreboard. I'm not saying the fast is bad because I've won plenty of matches the same way. I'm just saying I got kind of robbed. Um, I should have played my smoke bomb a little better in that last kill. Um, but congratulations to everyone, Mushi Master and the Faz, great players. I hope everyone who's watching though has learned how to handle what I just consider the lamest thing about Assassinate. The whole, let me trick you into becoming my pursuer so that I can stun you and become your pursuer and get extra bonuses, alright? It's lame, and uh, that's why I put lead in your backs. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you get it. I'm happy, alright? I'm not bitter. But if there is one thing that is bitter, it's arugula. And when you accidentally buy a whole batch of organic arugula at the grocery store, thinking it's greens and arugula mix, you're left with a whole bunch of bitter greens that, uh, frankly, you're not gonna fucking eat, no matter how many B12 vitamins are in them. So, uh, just real quick, if you find yourself stuck with arugula, here's what you're gonna do. I just made this tonight. It turned out pretty well, if I don't say so myself. You wanna take your pan. All right, this is, this is, this is, I love the frying recipes. This is where it goes. You wanna get your pan and get some fucking bacon grease. Where are you going to get bacon grease? I don't know. Steal it from someone, buy it in a store, or I guess you could cook some bacon and save it. You want... What's that? You could... Yes, as my wife just suggested, you could raise a pig from birth, lovingly give it a name, um, you know, pet it, play with it, play fetch, and then one day, you're going to play a new game with your pig. That's we're going to slaughterhouse. You slaughter the pig, you get its bacon. Thank you, honey. She is just as demented as I am. Anyway... You get about two tablespoons of bacon grease, throw that shit in the pan, get the pan hot, get the bacon grease sizzling, all right? And once it's, once it's hot, you just want to grab a shit ton of arugula. I don't know exactly how that measures out. Maybe it's about three cups. Don't bother chopping it. You want it fresh. You want it rinsed and clean so you don't get any pesticides in there unless you like the flavor of pesticides. Um, and you want to put way more arugula in the pan than it looks like will fit in the pan because, guys, that arugula is going to wilt. It's going to wilt like my dreams at the end of that match. Okay, so you want to get the arugula in the pan with the bacon grease and just start stirring it. You want to stir it with like a wooden spoon, toss it, coat it in the hot grease. And it's important that the grease is hot first, so it starts wilting the arugula on contact. And this is going to take the bitterness out of the arugula. As it's cooking, you want to add some salt, some pepper, and some garlic powder. I mean, I guess if you were like a real culinarian, you could throw in some chopped garlic and, you know, fry that up too. But uh, if you want an easy recipe, just throw in the uh, the garlic powder. And you're just going to keep tossing and stirring it until it just gets down to a very dark green until there's no light, like fluffy parts of the arugula left. It's only like the wilted and, uh, you know, dark green look and just starts to smell like vegetables and bacon. I'm always telling you to eat your vegetables. I haven't told you to eat your bacon. Why not do both at the same time? Then just toss it on some plates, serve it up with, I don't know, some chicken dish or whatever the hell you want. Maybe some bacon wrapped scallops with a side of bacon. Um, but as long as you eat your vegetables, that's what count. That's what counts. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Wingspan TT from TopTierTactics.com. I hope you appreciated this round of Assassinate. I hope you can appreciate the nuance that the hidden gun adds to the game. And I, and I hope you appreciate your arugula. Because even if you don't like it, it's fucking good for you.